Good morning, everyone. <laughs> President DeJoya, Provost Groves, Dean Hilton, distinguished faculty and members of the community, graduates, honored guests, welcome 
to the Georgetown University Graduate School Commencement cer Ceremony for the 2022-23 academic year. Please stand for the singing of the national anthem, which will be led by members of the Georgetown University Concert Choir and Chamber Singers under the direction of Professor Frederick Binkholder. Following the national anthem, please remain standing for the invocation, which will be offered by Rabbi Daniel Schaefer. Friends, let us pray. Modim anach nulak, we give thanks to you, O merciful one, maker of heaven and earth, our rock and our redeemer. We give thanks to you for our lives that are entrusted in your hand, for our souls that are in your safekeeping, for your miracles that are with us every day, and for your wonders and good deeds that are with us at all times, morning, noon, and night. We are grateful for the gifts of learning that have taken place here. We are grateful for the gifts of friendship and fellowship. We are grateful for the teachers who made us better students and the students who made us better teachers. Good one, your mercies never fail us. Compassionate one, your loving kindness never ceases. Reward those who have given so generously to educate the next generation. Bless those friends and family who supported the pursuit of knowledge and watch over those who dedicated hours upon hours in study, research, writing, and training. Harachaman, O merciful one, through your abundance and goodness, we find life. Inscribe the knowledge and insights gained here on our hearts and minds. May they find an everlasting home in our memories and become a deep well of knowledge that will continue to spread truth and wisdom from generation to generation. Grant us an honorable livelihood. Bestow benefits upon us. Yield us your grace and loving kindness. Bring us peace, kindness, and prosperity. Blessed are you, eternal spirit, who has given us life, sustained us, and allowed us to arrive in this moment. And let us say, Amen. Please be seated. It is my honor to introduce Dr. Robert Groves, Georgetown University Provost, to deliver the official welcome. Thank you, Dean Sins. Good morning, it is my pleasure to see all of you, our graduates and guests, at this commencement ceremony for the Graduate School of Arts and Sciences. I especially welcome those who have traveled from far away, and in particular those for whom this is the very first time you've been on our Hilltop campus, which for over 230 years has educated its students to become leaders in service to the nation and to the greater world. Why, you might wonder, do we call graduation commencement? 
After all, this is an ending, not a beginning. But you are about to leave, and naming this event commencement is rooted in the very beginning of such ceremonies in Europe of the 12th century, when what we understand as universities first appeared. The gowns that the graduates now wear and the somewhat heavier gowns that we wear up here, the hoods on your arms or over your shoulders, warm hoods and gowns for then unheated buildings. They're not summer wear for a warm Washington May. Although we must admit this is a glorious day for Washington weather. And the ceremonies were called commencement because they marked beginnings, just as this ceremony does today. The beginning of the lives of these graduates in the world. And we trust the beginning of your lives for the world as people for others. I must tell you that the world badly needs you right now. It needs your knowledge and your skills it needs your idealism and your compassion and your energy. And so you commence. The world is all before you right now. And we on our side can't wait to, wis to witness your accomplishments over the coming years. You need to know that we are very, very proud of you and your achievements that bring us here today. Congratulations to all. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Provost Groves. Our founder, Most Reverend John Carroll, the first Archbishop of Baltimore and first Catholic Bishop in the United States, took legal possession of land on our hilltop in 1789, and we mark that as our founding date. Our first student, the future North Carolina Congressman, William Gaston, arrived in 1791, though our first bachelor's degrees were not awarded until 1817. It was in 1815 that with enrollments passing the 100 mark, the college's president, Father John Grassi of the Society of Jesus, asked then Congressman Gra Gaston to present a petition for a federal charter, a document that still today sanctions the academic business we do here. Georgetown's charter, the first federal charter in the history of the Republic, has the additional distinction of having been signed by President James Madison, the father of the United States Constitution. It is our custom to initiate academic ceremonies with the reading of that charter. To discharge that office, I am pleased to introduce Ms. Marie Mattson, Secretary of the University. An act concerning the College of Georgetown in the District of Columbia. Be it enacted by the Senate and House of Representatives of the United States of America in Congress assembled, that it shall and may be lawful for such persons as now are or from time to time may be the president and directors of the College of Georgetown within the District of Columbia to admit any of the students belonging to said college or other persons meriting academical honors to any degree in the faculties, arts, sciences, and liberal professions to which persons are usually admitted in other colleges and universities of the United States, and to issue in an appropriate form the diplomas or certificates which may be requisite to testify to the admission of such degrees. Signed, Langdon Chivas, Speaker of the House of Representatives, John Guyard, President Pro Tempore of the Senate, approved March 1st, 1815, by James Madison, President of the United States. Today we are privileged to have as our special guest, Dr. Brian Green, Professor of Physics and Mathematics at Columbia University and Director of Columbia's Center for Theoretical Physics. 
he will be presented with the degree of Doctor of Humane uh, Letters, honoris causa. Dr. Amy Liu, Professor and Chair of the Phys Physics Department in Georgetown College of Arts and Sciences, will read the honorary degree citation. Today, Georgetown University recognizes a star in the skies of science, a world-renowned scholar and teacher whose career has forged a new understanding of the natural world, uncovering the deeper secrets of the universe and explaining that knowledge in a dynamic and accessible way to the wider public. Dr. Brian Green, professor of mathematics and physics at Columbia University and director of Columbia's Center for Theoretical Physics. After earning his bachelor's degree at Harvard, he was nominated to a Rhodes Scholarship at Oxford, where he completed his doctorate. His further studies led to his groundbreaking contributions to superstring theory. This theory, as he explains, tries to answer the question, what are the basic, fundamental, indivisible, uncuttable cons constituents making up everything in the world around us? His responses to this question include the co-discovery of mirror symmetry and spatial topology change. The former shows that two distinct geometrical forms for space-time in string theory can yield identical physical implications. The latter, that in string theory, unlike the case for classical general relativity, it is possible for space-time to tear and in that way undergo a fundamental change in shape. These discoveries not only opened up insights for physics, but also entirely new areas of mathematical research. In addition to his impressive scientific work, Dr. Green is a committed educator with a gift rare in a scholar so accomplished the ability to communicate abstract and complex ideas of theoretical physics to a popular audience. In the Washington Post, Joel Achenbach proclaims him to be the single best explainer of abstruse science in the world today. The first of his five books, The Elegant Universe, was a finalist for the Pulitzer Prize for nonfiction in 1999 and won the Ventus Prize for Science Books the following year. In 2003, the American Institute of Physics awarded him the Andrew Gamont Award, which recognizes the accomplishments of a person who has made significant contributions to the cultural, artistic, or humanistic dimension of physics applicable to a broader audience. In the same year, it was also adapted into a PBS Nova miniseries and received the George Foster Peabody Award. Along with his other books, The Fabric of the Cosmos, The Hidden Reality, and Until the End of Time, Dr. Green has written a novel accessible to younger audiences, Icarus at the Edge of Time, an illustrated reimagining of the story of Icarus which uses narrative to cast light on some of the universe's greatest wonders. Icarus travels not to the sun, but to a black hole. And as Dr. Green puts it, the wonders of Einstein's relativity kick in, warping the more familiar ending into a painful conclusion, but perhaps one that's more hopeful than the original. In addition to being a prolific writer, Dr. Green has appeared regularly in the media, including on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, cameo appearances in several Hollywood films, and the popular TV show, The Big Bang Theory. Cumulatively, his work has a profound impact on a wide audience outside the academy and within it. Indeed, his videos appear regularly in at least one Georgetown Science for All course called Startling Truths. A transformative scholar and teacher, 
Dr. Green shares with the Jesuit tradition a commitment to educating individuals as whole people in service to the world. This commitment is evident in the mission of the World Science Festival, which he co-founded with Tracy Day in 2008. Held annually in New York City, it aims to cultivate a general public informed by science, inspired by its wonder, convinced of its value, and prepared to engage with its implications for the future. The festival has collectively reached 3.2 million visitors and provided a global platform for high-profile actors, Nobel laureates, and other scientists to address, explain, and marvel at scientific concepts. In recognition of his accomplishments as a physicist and mathematician, his ability to make complicated and abstract scientific concepts accessible to a non-specialist audience, and his acumen as a world-renowned professor sharing theoretical yet practical insights with the next generation. Georgetown University is privileged to bestow upon Brian Greene the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters honoris causa. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Congress of the United States and by the Board of Directors of Georgetown University, I officially confer upon Brian Greene the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters, honoris causa. Congratulations, Brian. Let us offer our congratulations to Georgetown's newest alumnus, Dr. Brian Green. He will now offer the commencement address. So thank you so much, President DeJoya, Provost Groves, Dean Sens. You know, um, like, like all of you, I am now experiencing my first commencement ceremony because I missed the one that I was meant to go to. And even though it's been about 40 years since I submitted and successfully defended my dissertation, I'm still waiting for a piece of paper from my alma mater or something <laughs> to confirm that I actually do have a doctorate. So there is a chance that this honorary doctorate from Georgetown University is my only doctorate. <laughs> so thank you very much. So welcome, of course, to all the faculty, family, friends, and of course, the Georgetown Graduate School of Arts and Sciences Class of 2023. You know, I, I wanted to start on a kind of light tone, so I did what just about any of us would do in our post-November 2022 world would do. I consulted with ChatGPT. <laughs> and so I asked Chat to, to write a joke, a, a physics joke, and because I'd be delivering it, I asked it to write in the style of Brian Greene. Here is what Chat came up with. Why did the photon go to the doctor? Answer, because it was feeling lightheaded. <laughs> not bad, not great, so I, I pushed Chad. I said, can you come up with something more clever, something funnier? Chad's response, of course I can come up with something more clever and funnier, but you asked me to write in the style of Brian Greene. <laughs> Some years ago, I was in a Starbucks on the corner of 96th Street and Madison Avenue, New York City. I just dropped my son off at a nearby Little League practice. I was taking a break from an all-consuming research project, investigating ideas about the far future of the cosmos, and sitting there drinking my usual Earl Grey with soy milk, 
I had the most unexpected experience. I was suddenly overwhelmed by a sense of calm and connection, a connection really to everyone and everything around me, a connection that gave me a feeling that, and it feels odd to say it out loud, but it made me feel like I loved everyone. And just by way of context, in my normal state of being, I do not love everyone. <laughs> but to the guy sitting on my left, typing away on his laptop, sipping, slurping his latte, I felt love. To the woman outside the window, I could see arguing with a police officer who had apparently just given her a parking ticket, I felt love. Even to the guy behind me, engaged in a seemingly endless cycle of sniffle, pause, sniffle, pause, which would normally elicit from me the rapid delivery of a tissue and encouragement to use it. <laughs> Even for him, I felt love. Although momentary, it provided a, a profound sense of inclusion and oneness, and I had absolutely no idea what was going on, right? Some bad soy milk, stroke, losing my mind, no idea. But it did not take long for it to become clear, and it all has to do with what that great, imperious, and acerbic gastronome from Ratatouille, Anton Ego, <laughs> recognized as the power of perspective. The power of perspective. That's the theme that we're going to explore in our brief time here together, more particularly what I like to call the power of the cosmic perspective. Now, from the outset, by no means is this some radically new perspective. In many ways, it resonates with the, the ideas that the great sages and mindfulness teachers throughout the ages have emphasized. But the cosmic perspective, it takes us to these lessons through a particularly impactful trajectory, which when embraced in the right way, sheds unmatched illumination on the lives that we live in the here and now, giving us an understanding, a sense of how we fit into a larger cosmic order, how we fit into space and time. Now, of course, Albert Einstein was the grand master of both space and time, and he had his own iconic way of providing perspective, once declaring that there are only two things that might be infinite, space and human stupidity. <laughs> and Einstein added, he wasn't sure about space. Now, when we hear that, right, right, we laugh, or at least we smile. We don't take offense because we all know where Einstein was coming from, right? We humans, we approach the world with a brain shaped by the pressures of survival in the ancestral world, a brain that surely can reason its way toward truth, but a brain that places a premium not on what's true, but rather on what works. If there's an idea, if there's a notion about the world that advances human survival even just slightly, there is a chance it will catch on regardless of whether it is objectively true. That is the power of evolution by natural selection, which means that the reason we believe the things that we do lies only in part for the objective insight, understanding that the belief may give us, but also in part for the subjective reaction, the sensation, the utility that the belief may provide. And this, this taps into an essential quality of what it means to be human. We operate through a combination of the rational and the emotional. That's a combination that can be confounding, confusing, at times destructive, but can also be revealing, empowering, even transcendent. It's a, it's a combination that drives us to ask questions and to continue to ask questions, even when pure reason alone suggests that we may never find the answers. And among the deepest of such questions that we have long been asking are, why are we here? Why are we alive? What exactly is life, mind, consciousness, and what do you or I, this planet, this galaxy, this universe, what does it all mean? Well, I don't know. <laughs> so I'll, I'll wrap up my remarks there. Thank you very much for your kind attention. <laughs> no, the, uh, the point is, 
Although the why questions surely are thorny, we have made great progress on the how questions, how the universe evolved and developed, giving rise at least on this planet to life capable of asking the how and the why questions. And, and by unraveling that cosmological unfolding, we get a wonderfully clear sense of the broad processes by which we came to be and by which, as we'll see, even the most hardy life imaginable will one day cease to be. And this cosmological unfolding, it provides the basis of the cosmic perspective. So, in a nutshell, here is what we have found. All right, the universe, at least the part that we have access to, it's about 13 billion, 800 million years old. And that is a duration that is so enormous that it's hard to know what it really means and how we all fit in. But a while ago, Carl Sagan gave us an insightful way of thinking about it, which goes like this. Imagine, imagine with me that all of cosmic history from the beginning until today is compressed into a single calendar year in which each day represents about 40 million years. And in this game, the Big Bang happened on January 1st, ejecting a mass of energetic particles that filled the expanding space and were it not for the force of gravity, the particles would just continue streaming outwards. But the inward pull of gravity causes some of these particles to fall together into clumps. And by January 15th of the cosmic year, some of those clumps, they grow hot enough and dense enough to ignite nuclear processes, giving rise to the universe's first stars. By March 16th of the cosmic year, this process repeated over and over again gives rise to the first stars of our Milky Way galaxy. And a handful of months later, September 2nd, some of the particles left over from the formation of our sun, they fall together into smaller clumps, giving rise to the planets of the solar system, including planet Earth. And this initiates the next remarkable development because some molecules on early Earth they gain the capacity to make copies of themselves, to replicate. And this sets in motion a period of molecular Darwinism, survival of the fittest at the level of molecules, because copy by imperfect copy, mutation by mutation, those molecules that form that are better able to replicate swifter, faster, with a greater economy and stability those molecules, they win in the sense that they come to dominate the environment until an even better molecular replicator comes along and pushes them aside. And this chemical combat over time gives rise to ever more complex and sophisticated molecular combinations. And by the end of September of the cosmic year, some of the most refined of these molecular collections they begin to surge with the currents of life. And this kickstarts the more usual evolution by natural selection at the level of living systems, which by December 2nd coaxes molecules into life's first multicellular form. By December 17th, coaxes molecules into the first fish, then the first land animals. By December 25th, dinosaurs are roaming the Earth. By December 31st at 6 o'clock in the morning, the first of the great apes. By 1024 p.m., the first early humans. And from here, things unfold in a flash. 1144 p.m., in domesticate fire. 1158, the first cave paintings. At 1159 and 49 seconds, we invent the first alphabet, which means all of recorded history takes place in the last 10 seconds which means all of the wonderful work that you and your graduate school classmates have undertaken across philosophy, psychology, political theory, history, literature, linguistics, theology, just about all of it has aimed at shedding a little additional light on a little less than the last 10 seconds of the cosmic year. I mean, think about it, 11, 59, 54, 
the rise of the Buddha, 1159-55, the fall of Rome, 1159-56, Charlemagne, 1159-57, Thomas Aquinas, 1159-58, Shakespeare, the Renaissance, and finally, at 1159-59, one second to the stroke of midnight, we invent modern science, allowing us to figure this all out with a key part played by astronomical observations establishing that there was a Big Bang made by Edwin Hubble. He was an Oxford-trained lawyer who changed careers to be an astronomer, which to me establishes there's hope for just about anyone. <laughs> now in this cosmological unfolding, we prevailed on planet Earth because of cognitive developments, right? We're not the strongest, we're not the fastest, but we are among those life forms with the greatest mental dexterity. And that mental acuity, it developed well beyond the needs of mere survival, right? Giving rise to, to minds capable of manipulating matter, large collections of atoms with the capacity to contemplate atoms, minds able to not only understand their past, but at least in broad strokes, predict the future. So let's now turn to our best understanding of that future. And as we do, a new influence comes into play. The second law of thermodynamics, articulating the relentless rise in entropy, in disorder, which for our purposes basically means you wait long enough and anything and everything will fall apart, disintegrate. So let's see what this dissolution looks like on cosmic scales. To do so, we need to now consider enormous time scales, far larger than any that we've encountered to this point. And for this purpose, it inspires a new metaphor, not one based on time like the cosmic calendar, but rather one based on space, on distance. So. Imagine that every floor of the Empire State Building represents a duration 10 times that of the previous floor. Ground floor, one year, next floor, 10, next 100, 1,000, and so forth. Now, in this scheme, everything from the Big Bang until today extends to just above the 10th floor. And from here, we're going to climb exponentially far into the future. By floor 11, the sun will swell to over 200 times its current size, engulfing the inner planets, possibly the Earth. By floor 12, the ever-quickening expansion of space will drive distant galaxies away faster than the speed of light, leaving us floating in a sea of darkness. By floor 14, most stars will use up their nuclear fuel and fade to black. By floor 20, if the Earth wasn't swallowed up by the sun back on floor 11, it will now spiral into the dead sun having lost energy through gravitational radiation. By floor 30, most stars already dead will now spiral into their galaxy's central black hole. By floor 38, protons, the very heart of all matter, will likely disintegrate, establishing once and for all that diamonds surely are not forever. <laughs> and by floor 50, any thinking structure however robust, however hardy, will meet its end because the universe will not be able to whisk away heat sufficiently quickly. So if that thinking structure has one more thought, it will burn up, it will fry in the entropic waste and the heat generated by the very process of thought itself. Between floor 68 and the peak, black holes, the only remaining macroscopic structure in the universe, they will evaporate by a process identified by Stephen Hawking back in the 1970s, spewing out a bath of particles that will waft through an ever larger, ever quieter, ever colder cosmos. That's about it. <laughs> From the beginning to the closest that science can take us to the very end. It's a cosmological version of Beckett's, they give birth astride of a grave. The light gleams an instant, and then it is night once more. So what then does it all mean? Well, some will interpret this to mean that 
On your darkest day, however bleak and insignificant your life may have seemed, you now realize it is yet more bleak and insignificant. <laughs> but I would urge and suggest a different interpretation, taken from this a different perspective, because set against this backdrop, think about how utterly astounding it is that you exist. Think about what Richard Dawkins has referred to as the nearly infinite collection of potential people that will never be born, the nearly infinite sequences of base pairs of DNA that will never be realized, or think about the nearly infinite collection of quantum processes stretching from the Big Bang until today, each of which could have turned out that way instead of this way, yielding a universe in which neither you nor I would be here, and yet we are here. We have each won the most improbable cosmic lottery. Now, some will suggest that hovering above this lottery is a grand plan, a grand design. Is that true? I don't know. I see no evidence for it. But even if it is true, to me it only makes reality that much more wondrous because focusing in just on the physical, this perspective urges us to shift our focus to a celebration of the fact that our particular particulate arrangement has endowed us with enviable powers. Right? We can think about the past. We can imagine the future. We can take in the universe and explore it with mind and body, with reason and emotion, as you all have done across your graduate school careers, carrying forth a journey of exploration and discovery that our species has been on for thousands of years, yielding stunning insights like how stars shine and light travels, how black holes form and time elapses, allowing us to touch the very limits of outer and inner space, giving us minds capable of composing the triumphant Ninth Symphony, minds capable of painting the Mona Lisa, of giving the world the B minor mass, minds that is like yours, that can and have and will create great beauty, illuminate great mystery, experience great wonder, and the fact that bags of particles, the very same fundamental particles that make up salt and Saturn, the fact that when those particles are configured correctly, they can do all this. Well, this should fill us all with a sense of connection and cosmic communion, the very feeling that overwhelmed me that day years ago at Starbucks. A feeling that I can summarize with one word, gratitude. Gratitude for being a small, if transient, part of this cosmological unfolding. Gratitude that each of us should feel and must feel and should cultivate and must cultivate and I implore each and every one of you that we must spread widely throughout the course of our lives gratitude for human existence, for fragile, delicate, difficult, challenging, painful, exuberant, transcendent human existence. However brief, however evanescent, however fleeting that existence may be. So a well-deserved congratulations to you all. Best of luck and go forth boldly with gratitude and perspective. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Dr. Green. We will now have the presentation of candidates for degrees in course. Candidates, please rise as your row is motioned forward. I ask that the audience hold their applause, perhaps unrealistically ask, <laughs> until all candidates have crossed the stage. 
Will the candidates for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy please rise? President DeJoya, as Dean of the Graduate School of Arts and Sciences, I have the honor to present to you the candidates for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Dr. Anna Regal will name the individual PhD candidates as they cross the stage. Candidates for the degree of philosophy, please approach the stage as your row is called. I'm proud to present the 2023 doctoral graduates. My S. Abdel Ghani. <laughs> Kurt W. Albo. <laughs> Hala Atala. <laughs> Lee Hu Bai. Amelia Ann Becker, Ismari Blanco, Paige Marie Brooks, Sean D. Carey, David Castellano, Amy Chow, Ho Fai Cheng, Danielle Lynn Klausnitzer, Carolina Concha Ariagada, Robert Alexander Cortez, Christian Cuevas, Christina Danielle, Rima Alabdali, Sarah Eliza Fisher, Megan E. Fleming, Yi Hu Fu, Gregory Themistocles Galanis, Benan Grams, Kirishma Grover, Andrew. McPherson Heitman, Safwan Khalid Haider, Jessica T. Jacobs, Izuri Uppsala Jayasurya, Christopher J. Jensen, Kirsty Louise Jones, Kornapop Kawin Tiranon. Andrew Kelly. Rabba Hook Kilmani. Holly Therese Kothas. Kirsten Kuhn. Matthew Christian Mega Lalim. Nathan Chapman Lean, Dongje Lee, Erin Michelle Lemons, <laughs> Shilan Lai, Kieran C. Lynch, Xiao Young Ma, 
Jen Elizabeth Mann. Ryan Mansley. Nicholas M. Marak. Alexander Curtis Marwitz. Molly McEntee. Karen Lynn McNeil. Daniel Morenci. Jiang Mun. Abstranisa. Ryan D. Neselrot. Chan Din Kuk Nguyen. Emily Leah Norweg. Brissa Daniela Nunez Gasaya. Prashant Kumar Pandey. Zachary Park. Si Wao Peng. Jocelyn Russia Hildago. Isenio Sebchik. Gatayeri Rao Sanku. Gretchen Sileo. Ashita Sprivada. James D. Stamos. Catherine Elizabeth Steyer. Andrew Calvert Stoner. Christine Tuckman. Jewel. Tomasula, Brian Alexander Weaver, Lu Jen Zhu, Zinkyu Zhu, Lina Yu. Will the candidates for the degree of Master of Arts, Master of Science, and Executive Master of Clinical Quality, Safety, and Leadership please rise? <laughs> President DeJoya, as Dean of the Graduate School of Arts and Sciences, I have the honor to present to you the candidates for the degrees of Master of Arts, Master of Science, and Executive Master of Clinical Quality, Safety, and Leadership. Candidates, you may don your hoods. You may be seated when you've done that. Ms. Maria Snyder and Ms. Kindred Tully will name the individual master candidates for arts and sciences programs. Ms. Megan Boyer and Dr. Caleb McKinney will name the individual executive master's and master's candidates for the biomedical graduate education programs as they cross the stage. Will the candidates please approach the stage as you're called? These are the graduates of the Executive Masters in Clinical Quality, Safety, and Leadership. Mohammed Abukashan. Kimberly A. Benson. Michelle T. Day. 
Lubna Kusa. Cynthia Lynn Manella. Kalisha Angeline Miles. Alisa Peretta. Yahia M. Tagori. These are the graduates of the Master of Arts in Catholic Clinical Ethics. Sophia Christina Chakshi Martinez. Margaret Mary Monahan. These are the graduates of the Master of Science in Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. Merve Osge Oktop. Emily Botts. Tyler Bierman. Tai Tsi Chi. Sujo Chen. Naiming Dong. Dada G. Gohil. Michael Krozik. Kaylee Q. Coopersmith. Ming Lu. Onyinye Modica. Madis Mohit. Alejandro Moreno. Iman Nanji. Alia Dutra Cohea do Nascimento. Aya Siddiq Noor. Cassidy Siebenhar. Noah M. Smith. Ranim Issa Sweden. James J. Edward Williams IV. These are the graduates of the Master of Science in Biohazardous Threat Agents and Emerging Infectious Diseases. Jamie Taylor Angelo. Francesca Batelli. Julia Taylor Campbell. Catherine Coiner. Noah Gold. Zev Goldberg. Devin Elise Graham. AOL Abebe Haile Gabriel. Catherine Houghton. Madeline Claire Cuny. Madeline Grace Lambert. Madeline Rose Lockshine. Michelle Ramirez. Onarsis J. Rock. Juhi Sharma. Juliana Anais Walker. Hadia Zafar. These are the graduates of the Master of Science in Bioinformatics. Johanna Alamseget. Shir Chong. Vemulapali Rashika Chaudhari. Rea Samir Elian. Andres Figueira. Shubangi Vibor Garg. Jordan Henry. Yu Huang Lai. Thomas A. Mossington. Elizabeth Zachariah. These are the graduates of the Master of Science in Biotechnology. Fernando Andres Martin. Danai Aslidis. John Batley. Henry J. Cha. Junkai Chiu. Travis Cromes. Vishwanath Ganesh Kumar. Jonah D. Golder. Alexis Nicole Huber. Harshita Konithanini. Panagiotos Kostopoulos. Sonali Kumari. Mary Langil. Simran V. Mirchandani. Dara Robakish. Maria Panagioto. Jana H. Park. Ali Murtaza Rizvi. Adam O. Rogers. Navtej Singh. Ricardo Adrian Villavicencio Flores. Tulsi Vine Vias. Caitlin Wan. Bo Yu Shia. 
Dan Jo. Chu Yue Jo. These are the graduates of the Master of Science in Biostatistics. Yu Bi. Manjing Chun. Tristan Crumley Lemangelo. Xiaoning Sun. Yi Xia. These are the graduates of the Master of Science in Biomedical Science Policy and Advocacy. Vanessa Barnes. Marion F. Flaxman. Shelby Dawn Henderson. Crystal Denise Althea Jones. Emma Bailey Martinez. Anna Marie Cinerain. Alyssa Eileen Stuck. Harrison Tandy. These are the graduates of the Master of Science in Clinical and Translational Research. Yvonne Boma Akachi Wobara. Abdelkader Buragog. Shivani Devaguptapu. Oh, we missed her. Joelle Kathleen Fitzgerald. Abby Gillen. Junaid Imam. Crystal Erezi. Adam Lee. Nelson Moore. Walid James Young Nashashibi. Yuan Leon. Lydia Tanky. Zachary Owen Webel. These are the graduates of the Master of Science in Integrative Medicine and Health Sciences. Ruby Martin Aaron. Joelle Abdel Noor. Alyssa Marina Barnett. Sydney V. Bishop. Jordan Brown. Angel N. Bynum Hardy. Brandon Leo Dillon. David Brooks Ellis. Cobran Roland Frederick. Ardana D. Hamilton. Onositale Ijiwere. Tara A. Lane. Catherine Marie Moss. M. Heath Patterson. Gabrielle Eileen Pitt. Andrea C. Rivera Salazar. Tiffany Carolina Segastume. Stephen Richard Soli. Charlotte Brooke Sons. Abby Alejandra Urquidi. Ciel T. Vidal. Stephanie Julissa Vigo. Caitlin Wardlaw. These are the graduates of the Master of Science in Integrative Neuroscience. Irene Omarkan. Joseph Paul Binder. Naomi Rose Boxman. Paul Buckles. Michaela Fisher. Christian Conja. Prachi Blue Maboob. Rachel Mulavelo. Sparsha Muli Dara. Leonani Najin. Lucien Rosario Rodriguez. John Olaf Taylor. Rachel Weaver. 
Ian Lucas Torres Figueroa. Shangji Xu. Graduates of Master of Science in Microbiology and Immunology. Jordan Davis Goraspi. Shelby Hadia Hodges. Lucia Martinez Cruz. Chinmayi Meta. Master of Science in Pharmacology. Karen Amaya Ajir. Dishok D. Bisola Peace Fasihun. Sarah Garyesh. Jessica Jellison. Rithi Patel. Angel Adriana Simone Powell. Nazanin Valabegi. Kwa Va. Gabrielle Yvette Williams. Nicholas Utah Zuchek. These are the graduates of the Master of Science in Physiology and Biophysics. Sophie Abkarian. Salim Abu Tai. Ayam Agbele. Zina Almash Hadani. Paloma Amez Zuniga. Jocelyn Michelle Armu Boltang. Jacqueline Ivy Battle. Zaire Bellamy. Ashley Rose Bacchio. Nicole Maria Chapman. William Anthony Chesner IV. Gwen Coleman. Sophie Collier. Parsa Davuti. Andrew Dro Derminasian. Lauren Elise Downs. Beverly Paula Estrada Balcacer. Imani Ariana Fort. Angique Gosh. Jennifer Alice Groth. Megan Hatchett. Carrie Havier. Kaylee Dominique Houston. Sierra Nicole Hughes. Aishwarya Ayunga. Tara Sophia Ezadi. Morgan Rachel Jackson. Vidi Jane. Jimen Kim. Brittany Chidera Kalu. Arjun Kaushik. Bridget Kawamala. Samin Khan. Nicholas Fernando Otto Cress. David Latona. Lamisha Mamoon. Onanji Joy Mijosu. 
Melissa Milliam. Courtney Michelle Misco. Victoria Quinn Nguyen. Sherub Pada. Whitney Ann Pettyjohn. Taylor Morgan Rector. Umar Rahman. Andrew Ridzik. Lauren E. St. John. Alyssa Stathopoulos. Juliana Testa. Charlie Adalia Williams. Courtney Kamiko Wolfgang. Isabella Yaki. Anna Zhang. These are the graduates of the Master of Science in Physiology and Biophysics Special Master's Program. Nia Ahmed. Marion Baden. Cameron Elizabeth Baelish. Rochelle Budomo Bergantinos. Michelle Burmistrova. Feva Chinenua. Chukama, Emily Valentine Dill, Sabrina Faye Delianibas, Annalyn Damonte Diaz, Sabrina Marie Dizon, Mason Weldon Fakus. Demetrios G. Garbus. Valerie Aisha John. Stacy Bonkeshuri Kivan. Bahar Lake. Sky Elise Meso. Sanjana Mala. Emily Rose Millam, Yara Murud, Leslie Darrow Gujo, Tessa Nguyen, Trick Nguyen, Jayla Nunez Radin, Monit Patel. Julia Pinana, Sophia Pinheiro, Corinne Rash, Jijong Shi, Sachi Shinde, Krithi Devi Shrista, Michelle Angela Singh. Kiana Summers. Natalie Aura Padilla Tiller. Ethan Weatherden. These are the graduates of the Master of Science in Systems Medicine. Rima M. Almahou. Anna Danielle Faishayo Bashoro. Michelle Biatai, Rowan Paris, Rachel Holt, Kylan Kelly, Chiwoke Okonkwa, Sunja Prasad. Jessica Nicole Robertson. Kushbu Shah. Cutler Mackenzie Simpson. Ni Tang. These are the graduates of the Master of Science in Tumor Biology. Imam Huang. 
Nicholas Edward Neely. Nathan Strawminger. Michael Sundahl. Amanda Beatrice Torres Rivera. <laughs> these are the, these are the, for the Masters of Arts in Art and Museum Studies, Katie Golub, Paolo Iziari. Jinling Liu, Sydney Stewart. These are the graduates of the Masters of Arts in Communication, Culture, and Technology. Robin Sid Kalea. I did read that. Oh, sorry. Camille Perezo Alejandro. Thank you. Stephanie Songhua Che. Jialin Chun. Carl Thompson Crockett, Livia Brito, Jillian Isnell Drummond, Andrew Christopher Edgehill, Penelope Gao, Supu Gao, Nicholas Garabati. Yi Han, Maya Hardikar, Megan Elizabeth Hurst, Erica Lee Heeren, Hayden Hendricks, Ruhan Ho, Wenyue Hu, Xi Yue Hu, Ke Xin Huang, Yi Jie Jin, Mary Castet, Andrea Isabella Mieri Kinyua, Jin Cheng Li, Li Bo, Liu Zhi. Yu Zi Li, Zhuo Qian Li, Tianan Lin, Shu Ying Liu, Ying Shan Liu, Yu He Liu, Yun Jun Liu, Yu Xi Liu. Victoria Elizabeth Mangio, Mansi Meta, Ruo Yao Meng, Brooke Greenaway Merwin, Caitlin Elizabeth Moore, Suzanne Nguyen, Hussein Panahov, Andrew Newcomb Peacock. Justin Potasit, Ryan Powers, Xin Chi, Anthony Francis Raisley, Wei Jin, sorry, Wei Jia Ren, Ling Jia Shen, Yu Fei Shen. Shi Xinglan, Xiao Jing Shun, Yu Xin, 
Yi Hui Wang, <laughs> Dia Yu, Wei Xiao, Ya Xian Xiong, <laughs> Yu Han Ye, <laughs> Qi Yuan, <laughs> Si Qi Yue, <laughs> Rutvi Natin Zamre. Li Jing Zheng, Jia Bei Zhang, Pei Zhen Zhang, Zhao Chen, Yu Ye Zhou, Zhang Ying Zhou, Zhang Hua Zhou. These are the graduates of the Masters of Arts in Conflict Resolution. Vindra Batra, Sari Kuratan, Hope Elizabeth Diovidio, Mia Ferrari Mathis, Abigail K. Frost, Kashika Gokali, Isatha Gupta, Olivia Joan Jarrell, David E. Lievit, Catherine Ann Lentz, Noah Tyler Pacheco, Diana Paz Garcia, Kelsey Danielle Piva, Elizabeth Langel Schillings, Harini B, Brenna Claire Williams. These are the graduates of the Master of Arts in Development Management and Policy. Maria Paula Bordesi, Zarina Forclas. These are the Master of Arts in Economics. Jacqueline Schess. These are the Master of Arts candidates in Educational Transformation. <laughs> Yvette Alexandra Adoreno. Luz Chavez Gonzalez, Stacy Ann Simone Darian Overton, Catherine Rose Di Matteo, Morelia Hernandez, Chelsea Johnson, Yojung Sarah Kim, Emma Ann Larson. Margarita Sofia de las Luz Mercedes Lazaro Lugo. Summer Lena Lee. Erica Casey Robertson. Elena Francesca Rowe. Ellie Taylor. Rachel Wessler. Elena Celeste Williams. Master of Arts and Engaged in Public Humanities, William Cho. Samantha Nicole Peterson Corman, Ethan Walter Coiler, Maria Jose Pereja Rosso, Allison Romano, Catherine Rowe, Yasmin Ya. Sofia Alucia Martinez. These are the candidates for the Master of Arts in English. Athnan Omar Alanashwan, Arman Analue, 
Grayson Danielle Bird, Alexandra Wilson Bowman, Emma Louise Cobellis, Jessica Flores, Jonathan E. Guelzo, Natalie Caramati, Noah Kendall Later, Mitchell Paul Losito, Carolyn Lee Lauder, Raquel Nasor, Thomas Ono Machado, Robert Francis Pike, Lucas Gordon Radigan, Avery Rosen, Sophia Sayeda, Mary Teresa Turcott, Nipur Nimi Vucha Narahani, Alexis Marie Young. These are the candidates for the Master of Arts in German. Danielle Wade Bauman. These are the candidates for the Master of Arts in Global, International, and Comparative History. Eric Thomas Anderson. Theodore Joseph Bergwick. Idan Shazan. Molly M. Dugan. Catherine Grace Evans. Helena Nicole Halstead. Kendall B. Henry. Josephine Ann Kim. Shu Hao Liang. Ansley K. Markwell. Sarah Myers. Nicholas Javier Nunez. Elizabeth Sewika. Angelica Crystal von Kumberg. Julia Charlotte Walsh. Sijian Wang. Ruhan Wen. Zihang Yin. Hao Chi Wan Yu. These are the candidates for the Master of Arts in Government. Richard, I'm sorry, apologies, Michelle, Michael M Richard Angelini. Ian Patrick Archbald. Kian Saman Burdbar. Yusuf Khan. Abigail Eileen Carlson. Rashad Jonathan Hanna, Lindsay Claire Levy, Evan Christopher Mann, Owen Lloyd Myers, Alexandra Oriana, These are the candidates for the Master of Arts in American Government. Miriam Rayed. Sammy A. Saleh. Kenza Sandi. Ryan Schuster. Spencer Schuster. Molly Madeline Freelove Sweet. Lucas James Venslau Kass, Presley Jean Baker, Drew Joseph Bailing, Anya Eloise Bouguet, Gaia Jamie Lee Buffoon, Evan McKee, Sophie Nakbar. Roman Peregrino, Mallory Shakevsky, Haley Womar. These are the candidates for the Master of Arts in Italian Studies. Derek Alexander Genoris. These are the candidates for the Master of Arts in Learning, Design, and Technology. 
Stacy Ann Conti. Nafisa Issa. Lauren Christine Jacobson. Grace Kent. Jason Donald Kramer. Edward Thomas Lawler IV. Christina Mullen. Carolina Perejito Caicedo. Mike Rodriguez. Francine Rubio. These are the candidates for the Master of Arts in Linguistics. Megan Hewitt Abrams. Katrine, Katrine Bauman. Dylan Reynolds Call. Caitlin Carroll. Stephanie Chen. Imani Clemens. Parker Ryan DePaolo. Maureen Elizabeth Gordon. Trivini Guaroy. Sophie Grace Henry. Momoka Okamura. Megan Ashley Rauch. Nicole Rybach. Virginia Marie Staus. Catherine Ann Swindler. Dimitri Tirianshanko. Samantha Ann Tritt. These are the candidates for the Master of Arts in Philosophy. Pinpichia Mian. These are the candidates for the Master of Arts in Political Economy. Sagan Ryan Green Horner. Nicholas Fick Hemingway. These are the Master of Science in Addiction Policy and Practice candidates. Sue Zula Bidon. Nicole Carter. Mary Davis. Chad Jackson. Caitlin Johnson. Katie Montgomery. Georgie Minasovi. Spencer George Morrissey. David A. Seaman. Nicole Soda. Sean Ryan Stalo. Laura Tarantino. These are the Master of Science in Aging in Health candidates. Christine Davis. Joshua Lyle Sardovsky. Why, why Keita Jefferson Springs? These are the graduates of the Masters of Science in Computer Science. Didier Dunia Akimali. Hanouf Abdullah Aljlaili. Ray Chan. Jaywan Choi. Zhang He. Yen Feng Lai. Yu Tai Li. Mo Xiao Li. Yang Liu, Jack William Mozingo, Rakshita Sankineni, Sinru Shi, Jian Cheng Sun, Yao Sun Kang, Varun Upala, Yumin Wang. Warning Zhang, Hao Yang Zhang, Yan Chu Qi, Zi Cheng Zhong, 
These are the graduates of the Masters of Science in Data Science and Analytics. Saeed Tayera Ahmed. Avi Arora. Zev Louis Burton. Fang Ping Cao. Ming Chen. Xiaoming Chen. Yongrei Chen. Yu Di Chen. Yu Jie Chen. Aiden Tesfalisare. Rebecca Lindsay Crockroft. Yu Tong Du. Abhishek Du. Austin Eaton. Sophia Christine Elliott. Monroe Ferris. Abby Fremo. Jing Song Gao. Claire Ann Garberg. Matthew Nanatas. Ching Xuan Guo. Ching Chi He. Zhu Yuan Hu. Mu Wen Huang. Ye Cheng Huang. Yin Yue Ji. Hao Jing Jia. Chen Yue Jin. Yu Jia Jin. Yu Kang. Vinayak Kanan. Vinan Khan. Olivier Kuhn de Chiselle. Harrison Park Lee. Chen Lung. Brian Lee. Changwen Lee. Chao Li, Hanmin Li, Yang Yi Li, Zhi Bao Li, Yi Hui Liu, Jun Lin Liu, Xin Lu Liu, Yan Nian Liu, Morgan Elizabeth Lopez. Yi Ping Lu, right, Jia Liu, <laughs> Prakar Maheshwari, <laughs> Jacob Daniel Melman, <laughs> Ashika Padman Naban, <laughs> Zhuo Pan, Nikita Paradeshi. Neil Sai Paredi, Samuel James Pastoriza, Sonali Sudhir Pednakar, Lian Ru Pung, Jackson Paul Piccioni, Stephanie Morgan Plaza, Juzer Punawala. Shi Shi De Pu Jing Yi Chi Ray Chiu Yue Jiao Chiu Atisha Rajpurhorit Clara Annalise Richter Haley Eckert Roberts Elise Rust. Mitali Umesh Shah. Zichio Shao. Ruo Ting Sheng. Han Jing Shi. Hyuk Su Xin. 
Jia Song, Jia Qi Song, Amalia Adelaida Maria Stahl, Jake Steinfink, Shazia Suleiman, Jie Yi Sun, Wenxuan Tang, Cornelia Ann Thomas, Swami Venkat, Zaire Wade, Han Jun Wang, Hao Yu Wang, Jia Qi Wang, Qi Hang Wang, Qing Bo Yuan Wang, Su Rei Wang, Yuan Ning Wang, Zi Xuan Wang, Zhi Hang Wang, Hung Xin Wu, Zhe Hui Wu, Zhen Jie Xie, Tian Yi Xu, Zi Dong Xu, Robin Yan, Mu Wen You, Matthew Douglas Young, Shi Wei Yu, Martin Zamaninia, Shivam Zala, Jian Chao Jiang, Jin Qi Jiang, Lin Pei Jiang, Lu Jiang, Xia Na Jiang, Ying Qi Jiang, Hong Yu Zhao, Dian Zhi, Qin Ren Zhou, Zhi Nao Zhu, Jia Ying Zhuang, these are the graduates in the Masters of Science of Economics. Lina Alami. Sumida Bala. Ria Bargava. Ren Cheng. Si Yan Di. Shu Han Du. Shui Qing Hao. Hu Yuan, sorry, Hu Huang, Ai Xin Kang, Wei Hang Li, Xun Luo, Yong Jun Ma, Shui Rei Mei, Yi Ren, Tong Tang, Wen Yu Wu, Zhi Hao Xu, Sheng Fang Xu, Qian Yu Yang, Zhou Hang Ye, Li Shui Zeng, Chen Xiao Zhang. These are the graduates in the Masters of Science in Environmental and Sustainable Management. Maya. Alcantara, I think it's going to come back. Vedika Aruna Chalam, Maria Carmela Astudillo, Gwynyai Jimmy Beta, Lucera Betancur, Solange Comancha, Edith. Edith Chinchilla Perez, Kaylin Chung, Sean Patrick Connolly, Ian Corbett, Uloma Azogod, Tristan Lynn Jess, Shandan Gufari, May Li Lu Gleason, Christian Grafon Machuka, 
William Lockwood Groshek, Connery J. Gushland, Daniel Hogju, Samuel Proland, Noah Last, Irhim Shagai Mandu Bayar, Andrea Marine Montarubi, Neva Victoria Modric, Vanessa Mirakami, Lena Musoka, Kelsey Napari Camacho, Eleni Orfanos, Daniela Palma Yugoyan, Jenna Peabody, Clayton Pokorni, Anjali Ponacananti, Songyun Ryu, Sophia Zoitsa Stefano Sakle, Manasa Shivkumar, Mansi Tomar, Madison Kate Wendell, Jin Bao Shu, David W. Yellen, Gia Sang, Nicholas Campos, Michael Nanjarinin, Colleen Norton. These are the candidates for the Master of Science Environmental Metrology and Policy. Elizabeth Dannon. Morgan Dakota DeLong Mache. Emilia Ishevesti. Amelia Arden Green. Haley Hamza. Isabella Yaramillo. Sharuk Nasim Khan. Zara Khan. Mackenzie Lee King. Emily Lee. Camille Lynn Moore. Kelsey O'Malley. Jack Robert Palentis. Emily Prest. David Andrew Reed. Madeline Ann Rouse. Anthony Rufka. Joshua Silver. Peshu Phoebe Zong. Graham Kirby Streslecki. Michaela Ray Waldman. These are the candidates for the Master of Science in Epidemiology. Lords Inbar Albo. Pegita Adua Obeng Niraiku. David Odihi Abo Suhi. These are the candidates for the Master of Science in Global Health. Eskadar Ali Mio, Carrie Cohen Angel, Alexandra Barnes Schwartz, Maya Lodge Bennett, Divya Prakash Bhatia, Caleb Jack Bridgewater, Armalie Dejwa, Ivy Elizabeth Hall, Olson N. Hanner, Mohammed Babar Khan, Sarah Katob, Arnel Nana Josian Key, Rebecca Maxima Martinez, Sorka Carolyn McCrowan, Nabila Maria Meja Garip. Siobhan Mitchell, Joseph Wamba, Wambua Malengi, Valeria Navarro Galarza, Idy Price, Ray Gerard Lunar Rigorgo, 
Hector Danielle Santiago Rosado. Meryl Stavroff. Ralph Martz Solagi. These are, the, these are the candidates for the Master of Science in Global Infectious Disease. Araya Kaba, Lily Grace Kreps, Ryan Stephen Pearl Remmel, Rebecca Taylor. These are the master. These are the ma candidates for the Master of Science in Health in the Public Interest. Aniloa Akinini, Brianna Elizabeth Dean. Bri Berna Gustafson, Brian Lester Kaser, Kara Lewis, Anna Lopez, Ella Dedman Matthews, Matthew Reeser, Sophia Opal Rhodes, Emma Bella Rudd, Matt Salmon. Brawin Danielle Walsh, Pavan Reddy. These are the graduates in the Masters of Science in Linguistics. Luis Daniel Achevedo Velez, Natalie Jenny Bazata, Charlie Boddy, Sarah Murray Carson, Quartz Colvin. Aaron Elizabeth Fell, Yuko Hirasawa, Catherine Yen Jun Huang, Judy Unhe Her, Sophie Migaus, Clarence Masato Nakano, Chan He Gates Park, Takahisa Sadaki. Masupa Sukasem, Sydney Taylor Toltz, Uli Li Xin Yu Xu. These are the graduates of the Masters of Science in Mathematics and Statistics. Hong Yu Ao, Conrado Arroyo V, Jin Lin Bien. Harrison Ray Blondo, Alexander Card, Haobo Chen. These are the graduates in the Master of Science in Mathematics and Statistics. Kansu Ashley Freeman, Aaron Adam Hamilton. Landon Carter Henderson, Sui Hu, Ning Jian Liu, Yu Cheng Lo, Chong Di Li, Kun Lun Ma, John Maroney, Mitchell Reimerman. Silash Sirdar, Angela Renee Threadgill, Uchioma Uka, Yi Wong, Juni Wei, Ying Zhou, Maria Pia Younger. These are the graduates of the Master of Science in Spanish. Michael Shaka.
Will the candidates for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy please rise? <laughs> President DeJoya, these candidates have been duly examined and recommended by the faculty and approved by the Board of Directors. I therefore ask that you bestow upon them the degree in course. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Congress of the United States and by the Board of Directors of Georgetown University, I officially confer upon these candidates the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Congratulations. Will all the candidates for the degrees of Master of Arts, Master of Science, and Executive Master of Clinical Quality, Safety, and Leadership please rise? <laughs> President DeJoya, these candidates have been duly examined and recommended by the faculty and approved by the Board of Directors. I therefore ask that you bestow upon them the degree in course. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Congress of the United States and by the Board of Directors of Georgetown University, I officially confer upon these candidates the Master of Arts, Master of Science, and Executive Master of Clinical Quality, Safety, and Leadership. Congratulations. Will the PhD students join them in rising, please? Today, you have formally joined a community of scholars, teachers, professionals, experts, whose bonds of practice and principle transcend national boundaries. As scholars, ours is a community trans, uh, characterized by a fundamental belief in careful investigation and in rational conversation, and disputation is the best path to knowledge. As teachers, we, pay, we care for the whole teacher, the, the whole person, excuse me. To this end, we pay individualized attention to the needs of our students, give distinct respect for their unique circumstances and concerns, and have an appreciation for their singular gifts and insights. Finally, as professionals and experts, we strive to work at the highest levels afforded by knowledge. But as we perform this work, we always remember our privilege and keep our hearts turned to the common good. In welcome you to our community, I hope and trust that whatever your chosen profession, you will work to advance the great project of study, research, and learning in which we are all engaged. I look forward to following your contributions. I now invite the faculty and families of the, of the graduates to join me in congratulating them all for their achievements. And now graduates, it's your turn. You didn't do this alone. And I ask you to join in thanking your families and friends and teachers for the support and courage that they have provided you in this course. Please be seated. It is now my privilege to introduce Dr. John J. DeJoya, 48th President of Georgetown University. Well, good morning, everyone. What a special day. What a privilege to be able to celebrate with all of you. Each of you has earned your place among the graduates of Georgetown University. And as you heard in the beautiful commencement address by Dr. Green, this is a day of gratitude. Thank you to the families and loved ones, mentors, friends, colleagues, and peers who've supported you we are all honored to share this moment with you. I wish to offer my sincere appreciation to Dean Sens and to our faculty and staff for all of their efforts to support and guide you to this milestone. These colleagues, many seated behind me, have demonstrated teaching and mentorship, to research and scholarship, to supporting a vibrant and diverse community. To our faculty and staff, thank you for your many contributions 
every day that have made this day possible. Our ceremony has made that much more special with the reflections of our speaker. And Dr. Green, thank you for joining us and for sharing your inspiration, perspective, and insights with our graduates. Thank you. And to the class of 2023, congratulations. This day of celebration, this day of gratitude, this is your day. So much has been asked of you over these past few years. You've forged community during the most difficult of circumstances. You've faced challenges none of us could have imagined just a few years ago. You've gained knowledge and experience. You've established individual areas of expertise. You've made unique contributions to your field of study. You've achieved a deeper understanding of yourself and our world. Your hard work, your dedication, your commitment to service and to the common good, everything that you have done at Georgetown has brought you to this moment. There are two milestones that we mark this year that are resonant for us two milestones, events that represent the confluence of challenges that we face as a global society. 75 years ago, in 1948, the United Nations adopted the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, affirming the inherent dignity of all people. This was an unprecedented global statement, an illumination of the shared values and commitments that unite us as a world and to recognize the responsibilities that we share for one another. Over these decades, our world has grown ever more interconnected. This is perhaps no better symbolized than in the invention of the internet in 1983, 40 years ago, when the first universal computer protocols were established. Now our world, our lives, we're all that much more deeply connected through our economies and, and forms of transportation, through communication and technology. Ideas can have an immediate and worldwide reach, and so too do the challenges we face. This presents new and urgent and emerging challenges for us, for all of us. How do we organize our communities? How do we organize our civic architecture? How do, we, how do we care for the health and safety of all of our people? How can we advance the flourishing of our people, our planet, in this age of technology and worldwide connection? Over your time here, we've begun to address these challenges together. You've been embraced by a faculty who are at the leading edge of knowledge. Your experiences inside and outside the classroom with faculty and with one another with your research, your experiential learning, projects, in, in jobs and in internships, all of these have exposed you to the very best that we know and that we can anticipate about the global challenges of our future. You go forth this day prepared to make a difference in our world, to transform our world so that all of our people can flourish. When you arrived here, you embarked on a journey one that now continues beyond this place and beyond this moment. As you enter the next stages of your journeys, you do so not only with the knowledge that you have learned, but also the values that have shaped your lives here, the character that you have forged. All of you are prepared to bring your talents, your knowledge, your compassion, and your imagination into service in our world. As you depart on this day of celebration, this day of accomplishment, we're all so deeply grateful for all of the contributions that you have made to this community. And we look forward to the ways that your leadership and service will contribute to the common good of the broader communities in which you'll be participating. It is a privilege for all of us to be here with you to recognize this important milestone in your lives and this beginning of the next step on your journeys. Now with this commencement, you embark on another special time in your lives 
This is your time. And we are all honored to share this moment with you. To the class of 2023, congratulations. Graduates, today you have joined the community of women and men of Georgetown University, whose blue and gray colors adorn your hoods. The colors of Georgetown University, adopted in the aftermath of the Civil War, symbolize the commitment of our community then and now to healing, reconciliation, inclusion, and hope. These colors figure prominently in our alma mater, which I now ask you to join us in singing. Please rise. The lyrics of the alma mater are located in the back of the commencement program book. We ask that you remain standing following the alma mater for the benediction, which will be offered by Imam Yahya Hendi. Assalamu alaikum, bismillahir rahmanir rahim. In the name of God, the merciful, the compassionate, almighty, everlasting God, the protector of all beings, hear our prayers on behalf of our students, our graduates, their families, and the members of our faculty and staff who are about to sail through yet another year of possibilities. We implore you to keep in your sustaining heart those who are about to open a new chapter in their lives in order that they may dive deep into their souls and in order to discover the wonders of their intelligent and gifted minds. Grant our graduates in the class of 2023 courage and devotion to fulfill their duties that they may better serve you and our world. Though may be fearful of the unknown in the coming years, send them into a new moment of hope a new reality of self-reliance and confidence and a new path of optimism and cheerfulness. Give us all the will to translate our dreams into realities and to accept our share of responsibilities with strong hearts and resolve. Make us considerate of those entrusted to our leadership and faithful to the duties our nations have entrusted to us. We pray, God, that we may at all times keep our minds open to new ideas and new potentials. 
that we may become ever more filled with understanding of the world, with generosity of spirit, and a true compassion and love for all people and all things, that we may strive to heal the hurts that have been inflicted on nature and the world, and control our greed for material things, knowing that we are responsible for our own actions, that we may value each and every human being for who he and she is, reaching to the spirit that is within, knowing the power of each individual to change the world, and yes, God, to change the world. God, give us the courage to always be a voice for the voiceless, and shaped by values of politics of justice, economics of equity, and covenant of community. God, if we are inclined to doubt, steady our faith. If we are tempted, make us strong to resist. And if we should miss the mark, give us the courage to try again, try again, and continue to try again. You are the powerful. Let us all with this say, Amen. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you. We ask that our guests please remain standing at their places until the faculty and graduates have recessed. The School of Continuing Studies will have its commencement shortly in this spot, and so we ask that you clear the area as expeditiously as possible. The 2023 Georgetown University Graduate School Commencement Ceremony is now officially closed. Congratulations, all of you.